equals right hand side is mass moment inertia about 0 0.0 times alpha. Yeah. This <coughs> right here, particularly this IO, from a discussion before, using parallax theorem. You can actually re-express this term in two terms. Okay? First term is I through center of gravity, about center of gravity, and delta, which is this right here. Okay, so as this this ridge body is rotating about point G and okay, center of gravity, plus this extra term, the second term, M A, which is this term, times R, where R is the shortest distance between this M A vector and point O, so which is right here. So that's my R. And this is derived from parallelism theorem. Okay, so, so these two terms are exactly equal to this guy right here. Okay, so <coughs> the advantage of using these two terms instead of this itself is that mass or inertia about 0 0.0 might not be readily available. Okay, but IG moment inertia about center of gravity may be available okay, for common shapes in the back of the book. Okay? So you can just use those formulas given in the back of the book for IG, right? And plug it in here. Okay, and that's it. Okay? Next thing is you just need to find the distance between this M A axis and the point O. And that's all. Okay. So this is the general procedure. Let's look at some examples.